I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the classification of anti-conversion drugs. Here, we discuss what is epilepsy and what is the meaning of anti-conversion drugs. The anti-conversion drugs are also known as anti-epileptic drugs. It is also known as anti-seizure drugs. Let's begin with this. So, what is anti-conversion or anti-epileptic drugs? Antiepileptic drugs are a drug used medically to control the epilepsy. So now what is epilepsy and what happens in epilepsy? Epilepsy is a brain disorder in which clusters of nerve cells or neurons in the brain sometimes signal abnormally. In epilepsy, the normal pattern of neuronal activity becomes disturbed causing strong sensations, emotions and behavior or sometimes convulsions, muscle spasm and loss of consciousness. Epilepsy is a chronic disease that is characterized by paroxysmal attacks caused by pathogenic excitation of cerebral neurons. Several mechanisms that underline epilepsy have been postulated including an imbalance between excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmission. Seizures are generated in the epitogenic center of the brain and can be nothing more than shaking of the extremities. So this is one symptom that in uh, when there is a attack of seizure there is a shaking of the extremities. Now in next slide we discuss the classification. So first class is barbiturates, example phenobarbital, mephobarbital, methorbital. Second one is harantoin derivatives which is chemically imidazolidine to for dione. Examples are phenytoin, phenyl ethyl harantoin, mephentoin, ethotoin. Next one is oxazolidine dione derivatives examples are paramethadione, trimethadione, aloxidone. Next one is succinamides example fensuximide, methsuximide. Next one is benzodiazepines example clobazam, diazepam, clonazepam, clozipet. Next one is GABA analogs. Examples are progabide, tigabine, vigabatrine. Next one is miscellaneous. Example carbamazepine. This carbamazepine having a immunostalbin ring, then valproate or it is also called valproic acid. Actually, it is a aliphatic carboxylic acid. Next one is phenacimide which is a acetyl urea derivatives and last one is primidone which is deoxybarbiturate. Now next one is the example of newer anticonvulsions like denzimol, dezinamide, phosphenitoin, topiramate, lamotrigine, zonisamide. So all these are the few newer anticonvulsions which, yeah, which are in use. So here we discuss some introductory part of epilepsy and definition of anticonvulsion drugs as well as classification. Hope all of you getting. Thank you and happy learning.